Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I, I, I start. Oh. Hi, everyone. My name's James Ivey. I'm Paul Drew. From the Studio Rats. Oh, yes. And I'm with me, old buddy, old pal, Mr. Drew, and I've brought some toys over. In fact, a car load of toys. You've brought a lot of guitars over, and you brought something over that I didn't know you had. So, James, and I know you've got a, a, uh, a Les Paul studio. Yes. So how long have you had this? Oh, uh, 10, 12 years. Okay. A long time. Okay. Before the controversy, all the controversy was quite as spectacular as it currently is on these things. I'm intrigued. Let's have a look. Right, there's the case. <laughs> what is this? I'd say the case is all right. Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay. Um... There's one here, uh, there's one there somewhere. Oh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so opening up the case. Right, it looks this, boys and girls. Okay, excuse the state of the strings. Before we do any playing, we need to change the strings, but th this is the whole, this is the genuine <laughs> reveal. This is the first time Paul's seen this guitar. <laughs> so, okay, so what have we got here? We've got a... Les on, Paul well, style. I tell you what, it's... Pretty instantly, I know what this is, but um, from from quite a different, a few different factors, I can tell, I can tell that this isn't a real Les Paul. But anyway, it's a Les Paul. It, on the headstock, it says Gibson. What's even more dangerous is stamped into the back. Uh, yeah, yes, that's definitely wrong. If you look at the, uh, I'll do that one, yeah, up there. That that is completely wrong. But what's more dangerous is stamped actually print into the back of the headstock is the serial number and made in the USA. And I think we can fairly safely say that that guitar was not made in the USA. <laughs> Definitely not. Do you know what I'd love to do? Because what you can do with uh, Gibson guitars is to send them a serial number and they'll give you the information about the guitar. Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to send them that serial number. Wow, okay. But actually, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it's not badly done. Hey, if I was on, um, if I was looking at a band on stage and someone's playing this, I'd say that was a Les Paul. So anyway, um, I can't plug this in because the strings are extremely dead and the action, you could drive a bus underneath it. So back in five minutes, once I've uh, changed the strings and lowered the action. Does it go? It does that. It does exactly that. We'll see you in a minute. It sounds better with a new set of strings, doesn't it? <laughs> I can't believe this thing. I cannot believe. So I've got it. We got it out of the case. I cannot believe how good that sounds. I mean, yeah. gr granted, it's going through. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going through that match list, which just sounds amazing with the Les Paul we, we, we've uh, we've discovered. Um, sorry, Les Paul. A wannabe. Oh, <laughs> Les Paul wannabe. But there is a lot that's good about this. Sorry, Gibson. There's a lot that. Uh, that makes this an absolute part of double but it's surprisingly it's surprisingly good it's surprisingly playable i think the word good is dangerous and i think to use the words right and wrong is very dangerous yeah so let, let's talk about what's wrong with oh, it can, first can you, can you turn, turn the channel that's it right. so let's talk about what's wrong with it first yeah yeah so first thing that i, I noticed when i when i acquired it yeah is the scratch plate. It looks like a random piece of plastic that someone, with a, a random screw they found in a workshop somewhere. <laughs> that is pretty cheap. I mean, that is very, that's very cheap. Yes, that does look a bit crap. Uh, the the actual um, cavity cover plates are shocking. The most horrible piece of plastic known to humankind. And and the fact that it's, it, it's supposed to be a mahogany guitar and it's sort of got this flame maple back on it is, is a bit... Uh, 
bizarre. It is a bit bizarre. It's incredibly light, mm -hmm. which is a good thing for me. I, li I like the I like the fact it's incredibly light. Do you know what I love about it? What? Okay, I think that's all the bad things. Oh, this. I mean, this is pretty bad. The uh, this is like at a completely different angle. Yeah. It, it's like it's like bent up and different. So attention to detail, uh, Chibo. And the hardware is not great, is it? The, I mean, the, the machines are. Okay, we had, we had a little issue trying to tune this thing. It sounds like a Les Paul. Okay, the neck pickup's not great. But that bridge pickup. Surprisingly. In the, tune. The, well, the intonation. When we had the strings off, yeah. the inlays are at best wobbly. <laughs> some are into the neck, some are over the neck, it's a bit wobbly. But I paid a hundred and a bit quid for that and several it, years ago. It is wrong. It is wrong, you know. The, Morally the whole... and ethically, it is wrong. The binding, however, I think is exceptional. The paint job is exceptional. So my Gibson Custom Shop, which is what, four grand, something like that? The binding is it isn't done as nice as this. The the paint job is really good. The paint job is really good. Um and yeah, you spent I mean, ten you spent ten minutes tweaking it and it's felt the best it's ever felt, which is bizarre. I mean <laughs> Truth of the matter is, as you said, if you if you turn up a pub gig, nobody would think it wasn't the real deal. Well, and if you turn up to a pub gig, you're not going to be worried about snapping the headstock off, mm -hmm. which I'm constantly worried about in my custom shop. I mean, that bridge pickup sounds fantastic. We're not saying this is morally right no because no, no, it no. definitely is not no i had this i've had this for a long time way before there was even the phrase chibson really yeah i've had it a really really long time um i i knew what i was buying but i was younger then and immature and foolish oh i can i can see why people would but i can see why people would buy this i can see why people would. should yeah uh, should we should we hear a bit more play a bit more and then i think what we should do yeah. is switch to your gold top yeah so you can either decide for yourselves whether you you can really hear <laughs> 4000 quid or whether you think it's scarily similar and i know where i am on this um this discussion have some ha have a have a nasty noise yeah 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 give us some give us some beans It's <laughs> great, isn't it? Okay, let's go and get the other one. I love that. Instantly, it feels completely different. It feels the balance is different for a start. Yeah, it is, and and the quality you can feel the quality. That doesn't feel like 150 quid whatever you paid. It. This feels darker. It sounds darker. It hasn't got the definition. It hasn't got the top end. That's the classic thing about those Chinese pickups, though, is that they tend to be darker. You, do you remember your Epiphone? Yes. Yeah. You know, before you changed it, it had that sort of darker sound to it. This definitely has more clarity. Not four grand's worth of clarity. It's 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 hard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I love this. I, 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 you know, I love I love this guitar. I love this guitar. But that guitar is fantastic for the for the. Everything price. about that is right. Yeah. Everything about this is morally and ethically wrong. Yeah. 
if you get offered a Gibson, a fake Gibson, please don't buy one. Don't buy and, and hopefully these aren't on the market and people are trying to sell them as, as proper Gibsons. There are ways of telling. Um, should, we, should we just explain that just quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, basically, gonna, uh, this is really good, actually. This is really good, but where the... Uh, if you look where the um, controls are positioned, it's very slightly different on a Gibson compared yeah. to compared to a proper Gibson. Um, and the, the weight, you can tell it's not a real Gibson. The weight's all wrong. The the truss rod cover, if you can just show that to the... Yours. There we go. That's all wrong as well. Um, so, yeah, if you get offered a Gibson, don't buy it. If And there is a phrase that goes, if it looks like a rat, smells like a rat, and I won't say sounds like a rat because actually it sounds pretty <laughs> it doesn't, good. Yeah. Then it probably is a rat. If yeah. someone's offering you a custom shop for for five hundred quid, they're not. They're just not. Oh. No one is that foolish. <clears throat> what is this called? It's not called a custom shop. It's called a Gibson. What is it? What's it called? An art something. Uh, custom you, art. Custom art. A Gibson custom art. S stay stay well away. But um, thanks for bringing it over. <laughs> and I'm actually quite impressed. It will go back in the lot. To, to be honest. This will probably become my son or daughter's guitar. Lovely. And what will happen is a five, six, seven-year-old will go, go to school and all their friends will be deeply envious and all their friends' parents will think I'm an absolute idiot for letting my kid take a, <laughs> take a Les Paul to school. I, I, I personally think, I think if that was mine, what I would do, I would actually scratch off. I, I think it needs to have a have a Chibson sticker put over the top. A Chibson sticker, yeah, nice, <laughs> I nice. I think I might have to change that a little bit. Anyway, anyway, uh, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I'm James Ivey. Really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell button. And please don't hate us for having this. Well, don't hate him. <laughs> don't hate him. It's nothing to do with me. Uh, and, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.